This is Sparta! Hi there everyone, it's Del here from Spartan Racing again. I'd just like to say uh, thank you for all the support and the great comments on the channel. Um, it's been a little while since I've put a video up. This one I wanted to do on my settings for the Oculus S. So I'm running a 1080 Ti card and the Oculus S. So I changed over from a Rift to an S and to be honest with you, it's been uh, probably a good move. The people have sort of said things about the 80 frames uh, a second thing is a bit of an issue. I haven't seen any problems with it whatsoever. Um, I've been really, really happy with the um, additional clarity and the way it performs. So let's just have a look at how I've got the settings set up. So if I right click on my desktop and I go to my NVIDIA control panel and go to manage 3D settings, program settings, in the drop-down menu of the program settings, you'll see a number of choices. I'm picking iRacing, and the only things I've changed is preferred maximum performance. I've turned off the uh, optimization, threaded optimization, the triple buffering, the vertical sync, and the rendered pre-frames, I've changed that from one to two. Okay, that's it. That's all I do for the control panel. The next thing is to go into the documents folder and go to iRacing and to the little file, a little file here called app, right click on it, open with notepad and then I scroll down and scroll down and scroll down until I get to I think it's all the way down the bottom, if I remember rightly. To this section here, these three lines. Now, these are to reduce the sort of movement and shuddering that you sometimes get in uh, with VR when you first use it. And it can lead to a bit of motion sickness. So what I do is I change these settings to 0.9. 0 0.9 and 1.0 and that helps make the motion of your head inside the VR headset be work more with your head rather than the actual um, sim itself moving around. So there are the settings there. The next thing I do is I go down to the very bottom to render DX11, right click on that, go to open with notepad and what we're looking for is a little file in here, which is a little hard to find. Here it is, L-O-D-P-C-T equals 25. This is for, I got this information off of the great website, Box This Lap. And apparently what this does is when you're in VR, Sometimes when you're going down, say, a long straight, the cars in the distance sometimes seem to sort of just disappear. Um, obviously, because it's having a, a bit of a redraw issue. So what this does is this actually helps keep those cars in frame, ones in the distance and different objects in frame. So the recommendation was to change this to 25, which I did, and it seems to uh, work quite well. The other thing is in the Rift settings, the pixel per display. This is kind of like a super sampling. Now, I've tried everything from 50 to 300 and I haven't really noticed a great deal of difference other than it's um, a bit of a performance hit when you go up higher. I've left it on 100, which is the default. And, you know, people have gone in there and sort of changed this to try and, you know, get a bit better super sampling, but I really, really haven't noticed that much difference. So I just leave that on 100. Okay, so that's it for those files. Next thing is in the sim itself. So we'll go to the sim and go to the options and to the graphics settings. Now, as you'll see, nothing much has changed here because I don't use a monitor to race with. I use a VR headset, obviously what this is all about. So what I've done is I've made some setup changes here to suit the Oculus S, which seems to work quite well for me. 
Now, you know, I've got things like grandstands on higher detail events. So I could probably drop those down because they're just grandstands, but I haven't noticed any performance hit by leaving these uh, event and grandstands on higher detail. Uh, the cars I like to have on higher detail. Um, the one thing I do do is I do lock the frame rate limit down to 82 because with the S, it's at, the frame rate's at 80 anyway. And it's been a very, very stable 80. I've, I've not noticed any any drops in performance whatsoever. Um, you can probably pause the video here and get this um, all these settings. But the one thing I do do is I turn on the sharpening and that has really helped uh, make the images on screen and through the headset look really nice and crisp. And there was a recent update uh, and they did some corrections to the way HDR of the high dynamic range is handled. In the um, early, when, when high dynamic range first came in and I had my, uh, my Rift, when I turned this on, it really was causing some performance issues. But I've had this on now for um, since the update. And what it does is it adds some really nice features, uh, some sun flaring and different reflections off the car, which you'll see as we go for a little drive around. And I haven't noticed, again, any issues with the performance. So these... Uh, the settings that I have so let's take that and let's just go out now I'm racing on screen here without my headset because it moves around too much but I just want to show you for more the effect that um, the HDR has on the actual gameplay it adds a little level of realism which I really like bit slow and I think if any time that you can add that little extra level of realism it's something that just adds to any sim obviously these guys put a lot of effort into you know, making these sims as as best as they can but as you'll see as we go around the corner here look at those beautiful sun flares it really does add a little something to and the reflection off the car the or bonnet for want of a better word and down the side so if you're finding that that's, you are taking a bit of a graphical hit here we'll see some sun flares on the right hand side there but if, if you're taking a graphical hit then sure turn it off but if you just want to add that little bit extra then turn on the HDR if you've got a video card that can handle it and you'll find that it really is a, just a, a nice feature and something that um, I've kind of go, I've grown to like a lot. Just adds that little bit of extra depth into the into the sim itself. So I hope this helps. Again, like with all my videos, they're not, you know, meant to be a, a rule. They're just a starting point. I just try and do videos where people can sort of take information that I've put together and then hopefully take it further. And there's some really smart people who have commented on the channel that have uh, added a few extras to the um, to what I've done. So read through some of the comments and thank you all. Thanks for the likes. Thanks very, very much for the subscriptions. It all really helps. And I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye now.